Tens of thousands of Australians have fled their homes as flood warnings stretch across the country's east coast. Torrential rains have pummeled the country's largest city, Sydney, flooding the streets of several large suburbs. Nearly two dozen people have been reported dead since floods in Australia began late last month. Local authorities said Tuesday a 67-year-old woman and her 34-year-old son in western Sydney were found dead near an abandoned car in a stormwater canal. New South Wales Emergency Service Commissioner Carleen York called the flooding unprecedented. I think what's happening, in, or I know what's happening in this event, is people make decisions based on past history. And I think this event has shown that this is, there is no past history similar to this event. While Bureau of Meteorology forecaster Dean Naramore said more flooding was expected from Queensland to Victoria. A tough 24 hours or even 48 hours ahead and even if the rain does stop on Wednesday and Thursday, which it will, there's still a lot of water in these rivers. Australia's eastern rivers were already near capacity following record downpours in several parts of Queensland and New South Wales states over recent weeks. Those rains cut off entire towns, swept away farms and livestock, and shut down power for countless residents. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has ordered further emergency personnel to flood-hit areas.